Welcome, wonderful judges, teachers, parents, and fellow balloon riders. Who here has a smartphone? Can you remember the last time you went a whole day without touching your phone? I bet you can't. My innovation has changed the whole smartphone industry. I am Steve Jobs, and I'll tell you why I should stay on this balloon. I was born in 1955, San Francisco, California. My father taught me to love all things mechanicals and that sparked my love for computers. In high school, I took both machine and literature classes, which caused me to learn about calligraphy. I worked for the popular video game company, Atari, to increase my knowledge for technology. In 1976, I built Apple with my close friend, Steve Wozniak. We built our first personal computer in that same year. In 2007, the world changed forever. Apple released the first iPhone. My invention combined music players, phones, cameras, and computers into one touchscreen device. In addition to the iPhone, I made an operating system so user-friendly that Apple customers are customers for life. Mark Zuckerberg, you may have connected the entire world with Facebook, but does your company protect its users from scams and fake news? Martin Luther King Jr. You help the United States pass a law for equality, but those same states still find new ways to continue discrimination. Bill Gates! You may have created Microsoft, but it's just a software. I have created computers, softwares, and way better technology than you. The iPhone has allowed many people to be creative on their own terms. All new iPhones have HD cameras that can shoot videos just like in the movies. My company has changed the world for the better. So judges, please choose me. Thank you. Hello, judges, parents, and other falling balloon victims. Think about any major city. What kind of people live there? All kinds of people live equally next to one another, right? That is in part thanks to me for bringing true equality to people of all races. My name is Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. And I'll tell you why I stay on this balloon. I am from Atlanta, Georgia, and for my whole life I experienced discrimination because of my race. I couldn't play with white children or, or go to their schools. My parents couldn't work in the same places as white adults. We couldn't even drink from the same water fountains as white people. This was a law in the U.S. for over 100 years. After becoming a father, I knew I had to change the future for my children. That's why I organized protests, <laughs> led marches, and wrote letters. In 1963, I marched in Birmingham, Alabama to protest police brutality against African Americans. Many of us were arrested, and I wrote a letter for my cell that shook the nation. More people joined the movement. Later that same year, I marched in Birmingham, Alabama, in the U.S. Capitol of over 250,000 people for jobs, and, for jobs and freedom for black Americans. After this march, I met with President John F. Kennedy in my 1964, the Civil Rights Act was passed. It made racial discrimination and segregation illegal. I won the Nobel Peace Prize shortly after. Mark Zuckerberg, you may have co-founded Facebook, but you didn't even found it on your own. Do you still forget to mention Eduardo? Bill Gates, you cr founded Microsoft for people to use computers easier. But how many bugs does Windows have all the time? Steve Jobs, you founded, you made the iPhone, a portable computer, but now everyone's addicted to them and reading fake news. I am a voice of a generation. I fought for equality for all. Without me, what would the world look like? How can we solve the world's problems if we can't work together? Think about it, judges, and see how I belong here on this balloon. Greetings, honorable judges, parents, and fellow balloon riders. Do, do you have friends or family that live in a different country? What do you use to stay in touch with them? That's right, social media. Where do you spend most of your time during the day? Looking at your phone and checking notifications? You can have access to your loved ones, know their latest trends and news all on one platform because of my invention. 
I was born in 1984. My, my name is Mark Zuckerberg, and I'm here to tell you why I should stay on this balloon. I was born in 1984 in New York. I was always interested in computer programs, and when I went to college, I wrote computer programs to help students match which courses best suited to them. I also created a hit called Space Mash. It's a game of choosing between students' pictures. It was extremely popular. In 2004, I founded Facebook with my former college roommates. It was, a, it was a place for people to share their lives. People can communicate from anywhere with Facebook. They can join groups and share, and share their interests. They can even live stream content and partner with websites to make money. And the marketplace is the place where anyone can buy or sell anything they need. About 36% of the world uses Facebook. It is a big part of everyone's lives. In Steve Jobs, you might have created Apple, but there have been no major inventions for the past five years. Bill Gates, you gave us a brilliant operating system, but, there, but you failed to create the search engine. No one uses Bing. <laughs> Martin Luther King Jr., you made great changes for the United States, but even though you protested for job creation, you didn't give anyone jobs. Without Facebook, social media would not be where it is. If you like YouTube, TikTok, or Instagram, you should thank me for influencing them. Facebook is always evolving and will become a big part of everyone's lives. So judges, please consider me staying on this balloon. Thank you. Have you ever used a computer? Do you find it user friendly? I am responsible. My name is Bill Gates. I'm the founder of Microsoft, the technology and company that helps all computer users operate better. I was born in 1955 in Seattle, Washington. I wrote my first software program at the age of 13. <laughs> I kept working on my computer skills and knowledge. I got accepted into Harvard University, but two years later I dropped out because I wanted to start my own software company with my close friend Paul Allen. This company, Microsoft, would later change the world. I predict that personal computers were the way of the future. People needed computers to work efficiently. I, I helped bring the world into the digital age. This made me the richest person in the world for many years. With my major wealth, I pledged to spend half of it on charity. My charity invests in new technologies like ChatGPT and OpenAI. Mark Zuckerberg, I know you create Facebook to connect people, but surely your platform also allows people, people to give false information. Martin Luther King, you just protest to raise awareness, but your work was not successful. There are still race problems in the world. Steve Jobs. <laughs> Even though you thought of this genius created Apple, you just led the team, and many people in the company were treated poorly by you. I brought the world into the age of technology. Without me, there would be no, face, no Apple, <laughs> Facebook, or YouTube. Microsoft was the first software. You cannot ignore how it changed the world. So judges. I should be the survivor on this balloon. Thank you.